Yo, so these upcoming duetos just keep getting better and better. First, we got Marca Registrada and Luis R. Conriquez. Then we got Junior H with Edgardo Nunez. Then we got Los Semelos de Sinaloa with Herencia de Patrones. Now, before we get into all the details of the duetos and more of the previews, make sure you guys drop me a comment. Which song are you guys looking out for the most? And which one do you think is going to be a banger? Because when you guys drop me a comment, it helps out the algorithm. And make sure you guys drop me a subscribe, you know, just because you fuck with your boy Richie. But yeah, let's get into it. So let's start off with the Marca Registrada and Luis Are Conriquez Dueto, which is actually called Puro Campeón, but before we start, for some odd reason, if you haven't heard the dueto yet, and if you haven't heard the preview yet, let me play for you real quick before we get into all the details. Andamos bien, aunque les duela que andamos al cien, los envidiosos no dan de comer y me la pelan lo que es. Puro Campeón. Now, Yes, it might seem really similar to his last three drops, Si Fuera Facil, Solo Me Dejaste, and El Rescate, but if something is hitting for you, you're gonna keep milking the fuck out of what blew you up until you can't anymore. So basically, like the saying says, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. Why would he switch the style of what's been working for him? Now, we still haven't even heard Luis Are Conriquez part, but knowing Luis Are Conriquez and considering he is low-key the hottest artist at the moment, we don't even need to really listen to his part we kind of just have to already know that he's gonna snap on it and if it's Fidel's Letra we know he has the simple lyrics easy to remember but they work and overall I think his song's gonna be a banger but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments of this dueto is it gonna be a banger or is it just gonna be another song next let's get into the Edgardo Nunez and the Junior H dueto if you haven't heard the preview of what they have coming let me play it for you before we get started <laughs> Now, before we start, let me just say, this dueto was low-key kind of unexpected. To be honest, I didn't think that this would happen, considering they're known for two completely different styles. But as we all know, or if you haven't even noticed, Junior H seems to be transitioning to a different style, and it's working for him very well, because what he's known for, which is like the sad stuff, that wave is kind of, in my opinion, that wave is kind of already dead. If it's not dead, it's already dying. But that's a whole other topic for a whole other video that we'll get into probably in the next video. But yeah, it makes sense for Junior to make a dueto with Edgardo Nunez because he is on the come up right now. So this is only going to help Edgardo come up even more, which is well deserved to Edgardo. Shout out to him. He's putting in work recently with Fuerza Regida. And it's good to know that he's not just a one hit wonder with El Rudy. And he has plenty of other hits coming up. But yeah, not only are they hitting us with the dope ass cover we didn't think we needed which is Loco Enamorado by Remy Valenzuela I'm not sure if that's his original song I'm not sure if it's someone else's but off of my knowledge and off the top of my head right now I do believe that is Remy Valenzuela's composición but not only are they hitting us with that fire ass cover they're also hitting us with two fire ass corridos one is called Ciudad Peligrosa I'm assuming it's a corrido for La Finiquera Phoenix Arizona wherever Edgardo Nunez is from because in the preview, as you guys notice, it did say something about La Finiquera. But yeah, based off the preview of Ciudad Peligrosa, this already sounds like it's going to be a straight banger. And I already see it blowing up crazy. Hopefully, they end up recording more than just the three songs. But maybe they planned on previewing the three and then just keeping the other one in the vault. And yeah, maybe they just planned on, on releasing three and the other one keep it in the vault just in case. What if the other three don't blow up and the other one that they keep in the vault might? And then, you know, just like a quick little security, just a quick little emergency, uh, pull it out the vault. If the other three don't hit, pull it out the vault. And, you know, maybe that one will hit. You feel me? But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. Is this dueto going to be a banger? In my opinion, I feel like it is. Maybe I'm being biased. Maybe I'm not. But yeah, these are two very amazing artists and it was a very unexpected dueto, in my opinion. But yeah, hopefully it drops soon because in my opinion, it sounds pretty freaking fire. Next, we got the Los Gemelos de Sinaloa with Herencia de Patrones. Now, with this dueto, there is no preview for it at all. We 
all we got to run with is a picture on Instagram that they posted. We kind of just have to think about how it's going to sound in our heads and make some bullshit up, you feel me? And I know you guys probably don't want to think about it, so let me just explain it and let me tell you guys what I think it's going to sound like or what I feel like it needs to sound like because I know you guys probably won't even think about it want to put your mind into it. So let me just put it in your head for you and what I think it's going to sound like or what it should sound like. But yeah, so since Herencia de Patrones style for some odd reason is still bajo loche, which I think that style is just like the sad cut stuff, is completely done for but like i said that's just another topic for a whole other video along with the junior age um transitioning to a whole nother style but yeah they're most likely gonna hop on los gemelos de sinaloa style which is all which is as we know tololoche tuba guitarras and charchetas etc you guys already know the wave because if you guys haven't noticed anytime they hop on a dueto with any other artist they tend to hop on the style of whoever artist they're doing the dueto with because herencia de patrones style let's be honest is dead I'm not saying HP, I'm not saying Herencia de Patrones is falling off, I'm not saying that they fell off, I'm just saying that the style of Bajoloche, it's kind of, to be honest, kind of dead. Well, at least that's in my opinion. Y'all let me know in the comments if you guys think that the whole Bajoloche wave is dead, but in my opinion, I believe it is dead. But anytime HP hops on a dueto with another artist, they low-key tend to snap, and HP does sound good with any style, like rap in English, like rap in English, rap in Spanish, accordion and tuba, then traditional accordion with drums, and etc. HP has been on all kinds of songs, so I know HP won't do too bad in it. In my opinion, I feel like HB is gonna snap if they hop on Los Gemelos de Sinaloa style. But that's enough talking about Herencia de Patrones. Let's get into Los Gemelos de Sinaloa. They honestly just need to keep the letra simple because I'm assuming the letra and the song is gonna be in Gemelos style, which is similar to Fidel from Marca Registrada. He has simple letra easy to remember, which is why his stuff has worked in the past. And not gonna lie, both HP and Gemelos need this song to blow up. I thought Una Chevy for Los Gemelos de Sinaloa, which I think just dropped like, like two, three weeks ago. I thought it was gonna hit cause it was going crazy on TikTok before it dropped, but I believe it's barely gonna hit even a million in two weeks, which is not bad. But I honestly thought that the song was gonna be another Andamos Mejor or Ahora Todo Es Diferente or, you know, etc. But yeah, hopefully this song with Herencia de Patrones is another hit, uh, considering Una Chevy unfortunately wasn't, but I'm counting on this one to be a hit for both of them. Now, y'all let me know in the comments, which dueto are you guys looking out for the most and which one do you think is gonna be a banger? Make sure you guys drop me a comment, spam the comments if you want, cause like I said, it helps out the algorithm. And make sure you guys drop me a subscribe if you fuck with your boy Richie and I'll see you guys in the next one. Saludos.